But as we all know, there are thousands and thousands of uninhabited little islands out there in the whole world. I mean, even in the Mediterranean Sea here, there's tons to find. I mean, for example, here near the coast of Palermo, here near Sicily, there are, I mean, five million islands here. Malfa, Pecorini, that a cheese. Very small islands indeed, but even some very uninhabited, very small ones like this one right here. Isula de Basiluso, which uh, you can visit. It's very uh, stony, has very beautiful waters. You can see the Vesuvio here. You can take tours to this little island. It's a very rocky island and it looks quite crazy here. On top, though, we have very uninhabited land. That is for sure. And you know, the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 gives us a very nice look here at this small little island here, which is, again, quite close. Not even that close, actually, to the coast here of Sicily. Anyway, whenever I fly past islands like these here in the Flight Simulator, I'm always like, couldn't you, like, uh, build an airport on this thing? Couldn't you, like, build a runway and ask for a runway and turn this thing into a airport island kind of like the uh, tokyo hanita style i don't know something along the lines of that in today's video let's go ahead and do that let's go ahead and make an airport which um should be really i mean it's not even that big of an island at all but something we do have is like this pretty nice natural slope in it and that will be interesting for building a runway so let's go ahead and actually genuinely do that but the flight simulator here with the object manager quickly enables us to just put a runway on this thing we can choose a number here ah uh, let's just go ahead and just go for the northeast runway one click placing and here we go we can already drag a runway across the island which actually you can see it kind of chops down to trees as well which is very very interesting it changed the terrain as well this is very nice let's go ahead and actually change the direction of the runway here to like kind of this kind of the degrees okay that looks a bit better and so this way we're now genuinely able to just place a asphalt runway on this little island which makes perfect sense there we go we can now change the length of the runway make it a little bit longer perhaps as you can see it's kind of getting rid of the terrain which you can change the terraforming here that looks absolutely fine uh-huh, and here we go. We've got a runway on a little island here. Isn't that great? Let's go ahead and maybe add some markings here. And then we're already pretty much good to go. Edge markings, maybe like a threshold marking. That looks great. Touchdown zone marking. And perhaps a center dash line, a center line. Everybody, our runway has been finished. We could have made a little bit longer if we think about it, but let's not care about that. Mm -hmm. So we can now explore finally. Yes, everybody, the Swiss is their one island with its 800 feet long asphalt runway, which is gonna go very wrong. That's a lot of runway. That's not even 300 meters, great. But still, we're finally now able to visit this interesting diving location, perhaps. By the way, I found actually a, a actual building here on this little island. I really don't know what this is. This guy only gave a two star rating here. Anyway, come on, let's check out this airport. Is it big enough? Is it good enough? All right. To be fair, I kind of broke the dimensions here. Why did I make this a straight runway? That makes no sense. I, I, I didn't want it to go that way. I wanted to have like a very nice cool chevelle type of runway. That's stupid. Honestly, that doesn't work for me there. Project editor. Come on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That looks like a properly built runway. Now, we don't have the building that was here in Google Map, but this looks fine enough. So let's perhaps do a very heroic thing now and be the first one to land on our newly born airport when this newly born now is inhabited island something i haven't really thought about was the trees here right in front of the runway by the way that uh, totally looks totally all right nothing to be worried about so come on let's land here on the northeast runway which makes no sense heading wise come on oh goodness oh this is a very sloped runway this is proper cool chevelle now all right there we go nice touchdown there you can easily stop here just climb this runway up pretty much you have to go full power in order to actually make it up here which is interesting and we do not have airport buildings here just yet and we won't add those anyway because like who really cares this is actually a totally perfectly working airport and taking off shouldn't be an issue at all either we go just put the flaps out there we go 10 percent, something like that that is totally enough 
and then we can already see Italy in front of us. Yeah, all right, there you go, goes downhill. See, these 800 feet of runway actually seem to be pretty much enough for taking off this plane here. Yes! I mean, look how jealous these other islands are here. It's actually got a proper town on it, but no airport. This one does have an airport, and it is totally capable of operating even a bigger plane. I mean, we can perhaps use this plane, everybody, the DHC-4 Caribou, everybody, a plane that I described before as being able to land everywhere. This thing is now able to actually carry people here to our island. Now, this isn't an army version, but we can totally uh, fly passengers around with this thing. So this is now the first time that someone actually lands here with an airliner. Isn't that crazy? All right, here we go. Oh God, this is sloped. All right. Okay. Yes. Okay, that was not even that good. Everybody, yes, the DHC-4 Caribou has stopped. No issues at all. That's actually interesting. Great. We may just want to use another plane, a jet plane. Yes, I mean, what happens if someone in a CJ-4 Citation wants to fly here? With this absolutely ridiculously bad livery, by the way. But we can try this out as well. This shouldn't be an issue. I mean, what happens if a multi-millionaire who probably buys the island wants to go here with a jet? Okay, that's gone poorly wrong. That's gone very wrong. I'm sorry. You know what? We could maybe improve this airport by getting rid of the trees. I didn't expect this to go this badly. I mean, I wanted to operate some jet airliners here. Come on. Let's maybe land now, perhaps. That should work, hopefully. All right, here we go. Landing gear. Let's put that down. Here we go. Let's go full power here. We have to make it up the mountain, not crash into it. Oh, God. Uh, okay, this runway is not as long as I'd hoped. Uh, that's clearly not worked. This is actually, this is a bit, this is a bit poor, actually. If we think of, but let's check this out. This is not that long, I've just realized. I mean, we shall try again, maybe with a proper jet here now, everybody. Welcome aboard the beautiful A318 by Airbus. Whatever your size, we have it. So come on, let's take off here now. Toga in the engines. This thing can fly anywhere. Trust me, this will work. Oh, God. Okay, no, this will actually not work. This runway is a lot shorter than I would have thought. This is, nothing works here. Nothing properly works. That has gone even worse! God damn it. There we go. Come on. Let me try a lower speed here. We're already at 130 knots. Come on. We can do this. You can do this little plane. This will be a hard landing, but it will be a landing that's worth suffering for. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You have to go fast in this one. This is an uphill landing after all. This is not easy. I might have picked a bit of a too sloped of an island for the whole of this. Yes. Anyway, I thought, you know, jet planes could fly here, but this kind of slope, absolutely nothing to worry about. Okay, come on. Pull up, pull up. Get up, get up, get up the mountain. Yeah. Okay, that's absolutely not worked at all! So what I want to consider doing is just making the runway longer. I hope that works. Hello, something like that. I think that'll work absolutely just fine. All right, so this finally looks like this could properly work. Okay, this is maybe a bit too much of a slope. Okay, this is genuinely not ever going to work. Half of this runway is useless still. Oh God, I've broken this completely. By the way, what's this hole here? It's been there like the whole time. Maybe there's like a proper cave or something. Let's go mining. Anyway, I'm kind of broken the profile of the runway we might want to try taking off anyway so go full power here toga just like that there you go right 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 let's get the flaps fully out now get the flaps fully out we're gonna have this proper angle here now this proper drop oh right no i just genuinely give up on this runway there's no way this is going to work why did i find an island where it's just impossible to build a proper runway here god damn it all right there you go come on come on yeah something like that something like that something like that let me tell you our landings are kind of oh the okay there we go that's been a landing trying to stop trying to stop trying to stop trying to stop i mean something you have here as well it's more of a bit of a slope there we go. And that way, we can actually stop pretty well. Great, I just genuinely give up. There's no point in trying bigger planes at all. Although, turboprop planes just like this one right here, the A400M shouldn't have no issues at all. Maybe try this war plane, literally. Come on now. All right, all right. Here we go. All right, there you go. Yeah, yeah. 
Yes, that's uh, totally worked fine. We've done lots of great operations. Yes, I think we can all agree that this is actually the best airport that was ever made. Uh, you know, it never gets boring here, that is for sure, and that's exactly what I wanted here. I mean, there are some turboprop planes here that can totally fly well here, as you can totally see, and um, that's great. So, everybody, the island of... Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for watching today's video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, good night. Now, thank you very much to my highly supporting members like Jamie Ashton, Mike C, James Duram, Ragings, Met RLG, Matt Fan Z, Moritz, Wellhausen, Knots Enthusiast, Shadow, New the York, Ryland Williams, Kelly Chaos, John O'Brien, and I'm addicted to Airbus A380s. Thank you.